is up my tits welcome back to my channel hopefully you did not miss me for too long what's the 411 what's the cheese man of the day i want to know you already know the drill if you're not having such a good day if you have so much negativity going on in your life let's go right ahead and drop that and bring some positivity into your life what is up you guys welcome back to another video i know she's been struggling a little bit but she's trying so hard to get these out but anyways as you guys can see in the title i am gonna be making a little valentine's basket for my besties Alan and Zani. So this Friday we have a Galentine's and for the Galentine's we actually coupled up of course with the couples and then me and Raleigh being the single crew we got coupled together and we had to do a little raffle to give each other baskets. For example me and Raleigh got Alan and Danny so we're gonna make a little gift Valentine basket for them. So with that being said, I actually already received some stuff from Amazon that I did order from. I will have the link down below in the description box if you guys want to see any of the items that I got for them because I am actually pretty excited. I'm kind of going for like a horror theme in a sense, but still Valentine's themed. So I just hope it turns out as I'm expecting it to, let's just say. So let me start off by showing you guys what I actually got so far. Cause I still need to go to the store and get some stuff like for the basket, little like fillers and stuff. So let me show you guys the main things that I got. I'm excited for this one cause it's so dope. This is the first one. Look at this. It's literally a different poppet each date that you open it. I think it's cool to add onto their basket even though it's not Halloween. They love their horror as mentioned. I don't know how many times I said it but they love their horror. And then also the budget for the Galentine's baskets is $80. So <laughs> we expensive bitches. That's all I'm gonna say. I did not think it was gonna be that pricey but it was. This is the second item. Look at how dope it looks. I thought it was bigger. It looked bigger on the picture but look at how beautiful that is i low-key even want it for myself but the detail on it is really amazing I'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna open it but you can read what it says i know you guys can read just fucking read it i'll even put a picture right here that is what it is we did end up getting them one just because it's galentine's it's for the fun it's couple things gay you know i like to choose the good one so you know damn well i was gonna choose a good one for them too i did end up getting them these like school air fresheners i'll put it right here but they sent the wrong one, like completely not in the description. So I was kind of sad, but it's okay. You could always just go to the store and end up finding some more things to fill her up with. That's just an idea of what we ended up getting them, but I just need to go to the store, find some things and let's build the basket. So I made it here to Target and now I am going to go to the Valentine's section just because we need to find stuff for the basket. As mentioned for earlier, I'm kind of scared because usually stores lately have been really up to date like for the next season already, the closer it gets to the current holiday. Hopefully they have some things. I didn't even get a basket. We'll just carry everything. Just kidding. There's baskets right here. I think I manifested that. I was walking through and then I stumbled upon these books. And these are literally books of every like inspirational person, y'all. They got Beyonce, they got Lady Gaga, Dolly Parton, Taylor Swift. Where's my Kali Uchis? Isn't she inspirational? I'm in the Valentine's section and I found these cute little like chocolate roses and they do love these chocolates now there was some really cute ones here the other day at target that had like cool stuff on it but i think they sold out they had like a whole mario one. Oh, they still have it they still have these i'm gonna get danny the little mario one and i'm gonna get alan this cute little snoopy one to be a lot more fuller for sure like in mid-january and i'm kind of panicking because there's not really a lot of stuff i did find these little cute like million dollar i think chocolates so i'm gonna get two of these and i think that's mainly what i'm gonna get for now in the store just because i feel like there's not really like anything that's catching my eye that good I'm gonna go pay for these and I will see you guys when I go to a next store. Okay guys, so I made it here to the spot where me, Alan, and Danny usually come to whenever we want like our little Mexican snacks. Like we literally found the spot in Santa Ana. So right now I'm actually gonna have to get a few things. Let's actually get a little canasta. I'm actually here to get stuff to fill the basket in because we love our chips. We love our Mexican candy. So I feel like that's gonna actually be a perfect filler for the Valentine's basket since I already got all the bigger stuff is just little stuff that we need so i'm gonna go through the chip aisle here 
and throw them in this basket. For sure, I'm gonna throw these. For sure, turbos. Fries. Two of these. Munchies. Alan loves munchies. Danny loves these. Dynamite because they don't want to share. Lays because Danny loves lays. And some of these. I think I did a little bit of an overboard. Many of you guys know that Alan loves these. So I'm going to end up getting him like a big pack. And then I'm going to get Danny one of these. I think this is going to be the last thing. That's all I'm going to get. I just need to go to Target and then Hobby Lobby to get some final little things. So I made it back to Target and I am glammed up because I actually just finished filming an episode of Let's Talk Mandahana. So if you guys haven't seen it, go watch the episode. But this was the glam for today. I need film for a Polaroid printer that I have. So I forgot to mention that we are also doing DIY Valentine cards for the Galentine's for tomorrow with our friends. Point for the Polaroid, me and Raleigh. Gonna take individual selfies. I'm gonna Photoshop it together and put like Happy Valentine's Day on the font, like on the little thingy and print it out. That's the plan and that's what I'm gonna get right now. It already comes with 20, so all I need is one. I was in the Valentine section, but it was really crowded. So like, I just quickly grabbed it. But these are glitter lollipops and they're shaped as hearts. So that's gonna be really cute for the little um, cards that we're gonna have. Now I just need to get some tissue paper for the filler for the basket because I still need to get the basket. I actually found a basket that was $10 and this is actually really perfect because I did get a lot of stuff and I don't want to cram everything in here. Well, I'll try not to, but I think this is going to be the best that we're going to do. So let's go ahead and check out and basically set up stuff. Not going to lie, guys. I low-key don't like the basket. <laughs> I know. I don't even know why I bought it. I'm going to check here at Hobby Lobby to see if I find any good baskets. Oh, they have Valentine's stuff. Hi. They have a lot of cute stuff here and it's 40% off. I was taking a look at these, which were $2.49 and these, which are $3.99, which means that they're going to be like less than $2. For sure, we're going to get at least one of each so I could decor the basket a little bit cute. Now, this is what I was kind of looking for in basket wise and they're 40% off. Let's see how cheap we could get them for. I want a white one, that's for sure. I'm going to get this one, but I think in a white $12.99 and it's 40% off now if you want to know how to calculate how much it's going to be this is how you do it. you're going to do $12.99 times 40 and then the percentage sign you're going to click that so it could be a decimal so we can multiply it that is how much you're going to get a discount you're going to minus that the total amount so it's $7.79 but then taxes 7.75% 60 cents plus seven whatever it was so it's going to be like eight dollars I'm such a pro at math I love math <laughs> I am back home and I officially got everything as you guys could kind of have like a little glimpse on the side here. The total amount that I did end up spending was $140. Now as mentioned, I, it is a couple things. So, so me and my friend Norali got paired up and who we got was Alan and Danny. So I was like, hey girl, don't worry about it. Let me handle everything. Just send me the money after. Anyways, this is $140 worth basket. Let's just get that straight. And we're going to go ahead and start decorating this shit up. I'm so excited. Like, I don't know. I think everything should just fit. I think that's just the point. I think everything should fit. So let's get into this and see how it will turn out. I did get tissue paper to kind of like layer it. I'm just going to layer this on the bottom for now. I'm going to end up putting this here. I'm going to put the toy in here. I'm going to end up putting these in here. So Danny's favorite and Alan's favorite. I got double of these. So we're going to place these on the bottom. I'm going to put more assortment of chips. got them their favorite chocolates both of them they love these Let's put these in here can never go wrong with these these are so good dollar chocolate these i found these at target they're so fucking cute we could finally put these like right here this one right here don't think i forgot the little succulent which is so dope i can't get over it i got these at hobby lobby so i'm gonna put these all in here last but not least i'm just gonna throw these everywhere in there <laughs> Let me 
give you guys a little close-up. But look at how cute that turned out. You guys want one? Well, too bad. You should probably be my lover and maybe you would get one. Obviously, I'm going to get the reaction at the end. So wait till the end to get the reaction. Now we are going to start by making Valentine cards. Let me put it off to the side and I will show you guys how we're going to do that. Now that I cleared out everything, I low-key changed shirts because I'm doing like tiktoks and stuff and i want to have a different shirt each time anyways i am gonna be making diy valentine card the reason i'm doing that is because me and raleigh we are very extra we like to go a little bit all out and i think it was just gonna be really really cute and worth it point is she actually got this idea from TikTok. So it was actually on Instagram that she sent it to me. And I'll post it here on the side right here. But basically, you are holding a stick and you just cut the little snippet ends and put the lollipop through it. So I am literally in a Photoshop, me and her together, and make a cute little background and everything with these little Polaroid cartridges because with this Polaroid printer yes you heard it right printer i actually got this at goodwill for 6.99 dude it works it was so cheap and it works like i literally just have to charge it i just have to buy the film and each of these are usually like 16.99 for 20 so it's two cartridges so 10 each and honestly very in handy i don't know how many i have left in here but i got a second one just in case because i ran out of the first one this is very exciting so obviously i'm gonna let this charge for a little bit and i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna photoshop the picture with me in it and make it look all cute right now they have a lot of valentine backgrounds so i am actually going to choose let's see which one looks so cute i think we're gonna go with that one and i'm actually gonna crop it to the size of this at least which is two by three i am gonna have to work with it like this let's go ahead and add the text which is happy galentine's Day. and then i'm gonna choose the font that i want this is gonna take me a minute so let me like just try to choose a style i think i'm gonna end up choosing the style mood now i'm finally gonna add the pictures which will be this one and this one remove the background i find this very easy because i do my thumbnails using this app so it's no, no, not complicated for me. And I use the app PixArt just in case if you guys are wondering. I'm gonna add a border, purple one. <laughs> And this is how it turned out. It turned out so fucking cute. I'm literally obsessed with it. I already got approval from Norali. So obviously I turned this on. I already connected this on my phone so I don't need to reconnect it again. I already have the app so all I have to do is just kind of adjust the paper to make sure it fits. It already adjusted it so I am just gonna test it out and make sure that it works. But it's looking for printer. Printer has been found and we are going to print. <laughs> Look at how cute that turned out, y'all. Like, you can't tell me that turned out really fucking cute. This is the first try, so I think I have to make a little bit of adjustments on here. Like, I might do Happy Valentine's Day. But let me see how we'll work with the lollipop. I did a little slit right there. And then this is the little glitter lollipop that I got. I feel like that does look really, really dope. I just have to tape it from the back to make sure it stays. But overall... I think that turned out really cute. I did update the text and I made this a little bit more higher and 100% looks so much better. It's so fucking cute. I literally just taped the back. But overall, guys, this is how you do your DIY Valentine cards. Now I have to do about like 18 more of these. This is our favorite. This is actually mine and Danny's mine favorite chips. Yeah, I like swear to God, you're fucking... <laughs> like, you'll see me literally just lick these. I won't even eat them. I'll literally just lick Way them. Way better than Takis. Way better. Oh, maybe Irma. All these chips. Irma and Raleigh really know you well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, they do because, look. Because I will literally come at Danny and Irma. Like, I'm always like, oh, mazapans are my favorite. And they never get them to me. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's like, okay, next. Oh, wait, uh, if the kids are around, make sure the kids aren't around for that. Oh, yeah, like, ah, I'm like, I thought it was a bottle. Put them away. Oh, my God, I already have this one. I'm like, this is small. I'm like, is this Drake's? Take it out, take it out. I know that this is supposed to be like 
like the real textured one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Of mine and Raleigh's though. Yeah. We were uh, it's all quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all right. I, I guess not. Picture, that's why I, I, like like I, like I already told Narali I love your guys' present. I want you guys to open that pop thing though. No, this is my favorite one. If you guys want to see this one, Danny's doing a TikTok. Ah, uh, Danny. I'm like, watch it. Uh, <laughs> I think that this is my favorite Valentine's Day. Yay! It really is. It's Thank custom. You. It really screams like Irma and Rolly. Because <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does I'm dead, like bitch. I'm dead. I literally like... <laughs> this was a success. I think we did really good. Thank you. Oh, thank you to you. you honestly, like, we're the best couple that we could ever work with. So, if y'all want to get presents from us, well, good luck. <laughs> good luck next time. <laughs> Last night was fucking crazy. I do not know how many shots I ended up taking, but girl, I'm hungover as fuck. I have a fucking huge ass headache right now. And then my eyelids are all stained with pink because well, if you don't know, pink eyeshadow stains your skin a lot. So just be aware if you're trying to do pink looks, that's the aftermath. Last night was fun. It was such a moment. I think I ended up coming upstairs like at 1.30 and everybody ended up leaving until 4 so I was like fuck. I missed out on fun but low key I was already starting to get a headache after I took one shot and I was like nope it's my time. Other than that don't forget to leave a comment of your favorite part or what was something that you enjoyed seeing or maybe I should start my own valentine business. I don't know. <laughs> And then, yeah, so other than that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to anybody who you think is going to have a great connection with us. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias, at RomaiTitsXO. And I will see you very, very soon, my tits. Toodles! Bye! Have a beautiful time!